So we have a range of different facilities here. In this skills lab, we have our sim men, our sim mannequins, so we can actually replicate uh, real life situations and scenarios with the students in a safe uh, manner and be able to educate them so they're better prepared for when they go out um, onto their placements. We try and replicate as much as possible um, and our primary um, remit really for the students is to increase their levels of knowledge and skill but also their confidence and competence and to be able to actually um, perform these skills in practice. Now the students are always supported by their practice assessor, however they need to be learning how to come um, with, up with cl clinical decision making, that's safe practice for their patient care. Um, so it's an all round um, theory and simulation base of learning that has direct links to practice in whichever um, area they end up working in but also with the investment that's currently come into this campus in particular with the Marches development and we've got the most up-to-date contemporary equipment to facilitate the learning. Um, so it's the key point where students can now come in, learn in a safe environment. It just creates that level of um, engagement which is so important with our communities and trusting the healthcare service and actually getting to know what our community's health needs are. So anything that I've learned in skills labs, be it ABCD assessment, airway assessment, breathing assessments, um, it's just what I've learned here I've been able to take into practice, uh, then do my own assessment obviously with somebody that's qualified. Um, I'm able to um, escalate my concerns because of what I've learned in here uh, on dummies and on things like that. So uh, yeah, it's definitely benefited all of us to have every all, all the advancements as possible we can get definitely helps us to take it into practice. Uh, it's a massive advantage. Uh, just before you qualify, it's 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 scary. So to have to to be able to practice on a dummy that's physically there with, with scenarios that are we are going to be working without in practice, um, and when we qualify, it's definitely a massive um, improvement and benefit for us. It definitely elevates the ability to just take the skills forward. Really, um, having something physically to work on, um, it just benefits all of us. Really. What you see on your placement, you get to link with um, the standards and um, the skills that you're taught. So you might see something on placement and not really fully understand it and it might not be able to be explained to you. But when you come into the lab, you can ask those questions and it can be demonstrated more fully. I really like them. There's lots of interactive things in here, um, which I haven't had experience of before, such as the sim doll, um, which is good because you get to feel the pulses on it. It moves, it can respond to you. Um, which makes it much more realistic. You don't have to rely on the uh, lecturer to tell you what's going on and you can feel it more for yourself, which helps you in practice because you get to um, link it together. It'll make the transition to practice a little bit easier um, because as I said, you won't need to rely on a, a third person to tell you, you can rely on yourself and what you can feel and how the patient or mannequin responds. So it just adds to your transferable skills. Thank you.